You hear that guy? Squad of operators. From my comms vest. I haven't heard a single shot though. There. Your comms vest tells you there's a squad nearby. You see one guy and you exchange fire. What do you do? You barely have any information on his teammates. Better that you replay it and reposition to collect more information. Imagine I stick him with that. I did not realize you can get operators in this place. That's AQ. That's him. The enemy seems to be 100% unaware of your positioning and you have a free shot on his back. Do you take it or do you hold to see if he has any teammates around? It's a free shot. Of course you take it. You are making this into a 2v1 instantly. Whoa, behind me. Take that back. That free shot was not free after all. You are able to self-revive, but you hear the enemies rushing towards you to finish you. What are you going to do once the self-revive is done? If you run away, you are just a free kill and the enemies will shoot you in the back. Your best chance is to lay down on the floor so you throw the enemies off and start shooting them back. Two people dead. Three. Three man take down. Welcome to episode 2 of the PvP guide of DMZ. This is a series where we talk everything PvP in DMZ and we focus on strategy and how to think like a pro when it comes to PvP in DMZ. If you are enjoying this series and you want more then please like the video and if you think you are good enough then tell me what's your score for the final quiz at the end of the video. Let's get back to it. Here my friend's body is being camped by an enemy team and I want you to focus specifically on how I use every piece of utility I have on me to gain an advantage over that 3 man team as a solo. Why were they looking that way? Because maybe the AI, right? Oh my god, really? I have a bomb drone, let's use it. I have a flash, let's use it. I have a grenade, let's use it. Let's use everything we got to have an advantage over that three-man team. No way. The guy that we just downed probably has a self-revive, but we just gave ourselves a five-second window to find the third guy and make sure he doesn't want to trade. Fuck no, you killed my teammate. <laughs> we are back on Almazra and I was doing a regain run when I heard some shots. My first course of action instantly is turn on UAV to gather information. I have a feeling they're super close. What? I notice there's two enemies in the range of the UAV. My first action will be take the highest point in the immediate area. This will give you the height advantage and this is one of the biggest advantages in DMZ PvP. Okay, first guy is dead, and I know from the UAV that I can loot him safely. You can see on the UAV that the second guy was in the building that I was in, and he's just below me. I will try to sneak down to him and see what's up. He was just crouched and watching the door and I was aiming a bit too high. Good thing I recovered and didn't miss my shots. Last guy is on that roof. I can see him. Is he trying to revive his teammate? No. Not yet. Well, uh, uh, wait, are you the guy over there? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Are you the guy there? Look, I really, I just needed the loot. I got the loot, I can leave you be, okay? All right, cool. All right, see ya. See ya. I'm not gonna lie to you, this fight felt less like a fight and more like stealing lunch money. So I was like, eh, maybe I can just leave them be. I got my large bag, which is the thing I came for, and that's about it. Well, you can count that as a three-man takedown. We are still in the same game, but this time we are in Rohan Oil and the team pulls up with their car and they activate the UAV tower. In this engagement, I need you to focus on the usage of utility and the information collection methods that are used. 
Let's pop advanced UAV. Yeah, it's totally showing the difference between players now. Unless these guys have ghost. They want to pop UAV. Yeah, one of, yeah, yeah, that that team is kind of dangerous. But here's what they don't know about me. Is that I have ghost. Me having a stealth vest means that I don't show up on their UAV. So from their perspective, they think that I am just outside the range of the UAV and they will have to push onto the other side of the UAV. Now I will take advantage of that and meet them halfway. One guy is down and the other two teammates are on the other side of the street. Again, from their perspective, I am not within the range of the UAV, which makes them think that they are safe. I can easily catch one of them rotating back to help their teammate and kill them. Divide and conquer. Two guys dead and the last guy seems to be camping inside that building. What do we do? Oh, I almost trolled. Almost trolled. My next clip is from Warzone Ranked, and I went solo against a full team that was camping a high rise. This is dedicated towards the people that called me a Warzone reject, and for them I say, watch and learn. Two people. I couldn't down any of them, and that sets me at a huge disadvantage. However, there is one advantage that I can still take, and that is the height advantage. One guy dead, reposition and replay. No, we're not 30 FPS now, right now. The bait worked perfectly. The last guy that I killed must have been shouting at the third guy. He's one shot, he's one shot. He does not have plates. But I am fully plated and the guy is chasing me without any plates. Easy kill, easy three-man takedown. Okay guys, focus up now. This is gonna be the last clip before the final exam. This is from a solo Warzone ranked match that I won with 16 kills. And this is exactly what was going through my mind. Okay, so I just got my loadout. I'm trying to help my random teammate. I see there's an enemy. I try to take shots. However, high alert starts pinging that there's people aiming at me from the left. I use the drill charge to deny the people that are trying to push into me. They get hurt. I try to flash, I take the corner here as they push into me. Easy kill, I don't get the finish yet, I try to reposition. I have a gas mask, I don't have a gas mask. I kill this guy and take his gas mask. This is gas mask. Try to run in, try to evade the gas. I see high alert pinging from behind me. I need to get to cover as soon as possible. That guy needs to move because of the gas. I got a durable gas mask. Play it up, play it up. I'm telling my teammate to play it up. Okay, now everybody that is outside needs to come through our building to get into the zone. I got a down high alert, starts pinging from my left. I need to reposition, play it up. High alert is pinging from our back. There's somebody shooting us from the gas. I do have a gas mask. I can take this fight. Another guy inside the gas. I can hear him coughing. He's chasing. I go in, fake him out, go back out and kill him. I just need to stay alive, I just need to stay alive. I can go in the zone here. Switch to the SMG and try to go in. One HP, one HP. Play it up and uh, lay down. We don't have much cover around, only hope is nobody sees us. Top 10 guys. I don't know why I'm standing here. I don't think I have much plays in here, do I? Somebody's using a bomb drone. Actually, I do. I can take the damage from the bomb drone because in the new patch, the bomb drone does not one-shot kill you anymore. Just take the bomb drone and play it up. Don't lose my cover. Use that drill charge to clear that building. 
We're gonna make our way there as soon as possible because that's the only building in the zone. It's the only piece of cover we that we can use. Try to take shots at people running in from the gas. That guy's just in a very bad position. AI should not be functional at this point. Again, I don't know if the if the building's clear. Gotta use a drill charge to clear it out and then get in. Building's clear. It's good cover. Okay, this building is mine. I hear shots on the outside. Take a peek. One guy down. I see smokes going down. I can use these smokes to get to get to him and kill him. Another guy was behind me. One more. High alert behind me. Play it up and reposition quickly. Flash so he doesn't push through that. I see him rotating. Easy kill. GG. Let's go. Thanks for carry. 16 kills. 5k damage. Alright guys, you made it to the final exam. We need to go to the town center and activate that UAV tower. But it looks like there's enemies nearby and we need information. What do you use? You are sitting in a very comfortable position and you are not in danger of being shot or hit right now. You are in a very low stress situation. Using a recon drone over the UAV will be favorable because it is way cheaper. No, 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 don't turn on UAV. He's turning on UAV, isn't he? Of course he is. Why does this guy have so much stuff on him? We killed the first guy and we could use a little bit of extra information. The recon drone is still flying in the air and we still have the UAV. Which one do we use? your enemy on the UAV alone and fighting AI. Do you maintain your height or do you chase and kill him? More people. They're all my level. We downed the guy but we were unable to get the finish. Do you replay on position or do you push to confirm the kill? If you push now, the AI might weaken you and you will be one shot for the last guy to kill you. Better play it up and go again. We see the guy that we've downed earlier without a self-revive and still sitting alone not getting revived. What do you do? We already have consumed our UAV and our recon drone and we need information on his teammates really bad. Interrogating him will give us live pings and a free UAV on both his teammates. He revived. That's him, both down. Nice try guys. Nice try. 